Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Savvy Street DIYs with Shanice. In today's video, we are in my bedroom and we are organizing and decluttering my closet because I am sick and tired of being sick and tired of seeing my closet in shambles. So if that is something that you're interested in seeing, then go ahead and sit back, relax, maybe grab some wine and enjoy the decluttering and the organizing process. If you are new here to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. This is my space where I share all of my budget-friendly home decor and DIY projects to transform our house into a home. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into the video. So before we dive right in and I show you the current state of my closet, I wanna share with you a couple of things that I picked up at Target um, and then also Sam's Club just to prepare ourselves for this decluttering organization. Yes. I got to do this. Okay. So what is this? We have a hanging. Is this is a hanging organizer? Uh -huh. So say this is a hanging organizer. This is a hanging organizer, and mommy bought it from Target. I did. But these are metal bins. Uh, these are metal bins from Sam's Club. These aren't from Sam's Club. These are from. Sam's Club. No, I didn't buy these at Sam's Club. Where did I buy these? At Sam's Club? Target. Target. I got this at Target. So she got this from Target, but she bought this hanger where clothes can go. And she's going to order nine. But where did I buy these? These are velvet hangers. And velvet I. Big hanger. Where did I get these from? From Sam's Club. From Sam's Club. From so I got. Sam's Club. And she. She uh, organized all the stuff that she wanted for her closet. Okay. So um, the reason they I went. They are soft. Very they soft. are very soft. They're velvet. So I purchased the velvet hangers because right now I have all of those thick hangers. I have like Target hangers in my closet. Um, I have wire hangers. I just have all types of hangers and it's just a mess. So I bought these one because they take up less space and. Um, I think they'll just be better on my clothes overall. So I've got, these were $12 for 50 at Sam's Club, so you can't beat that. Go ahead and talk. And she bought this thing. You gotta come over here a little. She brought this thing for her, for her purse and for her, all of her purse, but she is, she's gonna organize what the tight top is. And I saw a girl that was crying, and she oh, had to clean all <laughs> by herself. We're but. going off topic here, but I purchased this also. This is not this is not for my side of the closet, but I did purchase this for my husband's side of the closet because um, he typically sometimes hangs some of his things over the door, and he has a space in his side of the closet where I can mount this on the wall to give him some additional uh, room and oh, space to kind of hang things like his hat and just other miscellaneous things that he'll, that he has hanging over the doors and different things like that. This is cool because number one, it was only $7 at Target. And then also it can be mounted, it can be hung or it can be uh, just leaned up against the wall. So this is pretty cool. Um, and then $7. Did I say $7? Did I seven did seven dollars? Okay. And and mom bought this. I for think her. a McDonald's like Big Mac cost seven dollars, right? Uh huh. And that's we won't get into that. You um, I also did I talk about my dirty clothes hamper? I also bought a dirty clothes hamper. Now in our room, our bathroom is really small. We cannot put any type of anything extra in our restroom other than what's already in there, which is the sink, the toilet, and the shower. We have a couple of things up on some racks, but that's about it. Um, right now, right now, my dirty clothes hamper sits on the outside wall. Can I talk? Yeah, give me one second. Right now, the um, hamper sits on the outside wall, and it's a bit of an eyesore. So it's like next to my dresser on the outside of the bathroom and I don't like it. So I wanna try to conceal this a little bit um, by putting it inside of the closet and I love that it has a lid. And again, this is from Target. Everything will be linked in the description box below, just FYI. 
Uh, what else do we have, London? That's everything, right? That's everything that we purchased, right? One, two, yeah, that's everything. Okay, so now let me show you what the closet yes, looks like. Subscribe. Subs say subscribe. This uh, subscribe channel. If you want to meet us again, don't forget to subscribe. Do your big <laughs> subscribe and do not be late. You're going to just be late for five years, but anything is handled that we can all do. And don't forget to subscribe too. All right, thanks. And don't be, and forget to get a necklace for us. Okay. Thank you so much. So Let's sweet. Do it now. Open it. Okay. Okay, so here is the current state of my closet. This is one side, it is a mess. And like I said earlier, um, I have these thick plastic hangers, which I'm gonna just absolutely get rid of. I also have like the hangers that the clothes came on, right, at Target and different places. But yeah, see, we gotta get rid of those. And then I have these, I don't even, maybe these are from the cleaners, these type of hangers, or the store, I don't know. But we're gonna get rid of all that. We're gonna make this look nice and neat and this is her favorite thing to do, is to put on my heels. And now that all of them will probably be at the bottom. Hey, I forgot my other shoe. Okay, and here is the other side. Um, and then I have hats everywhere. Just everything everywhere. I have this jewelry kind of accessory hanger. I don't know what it's called, but I have that it's I, I don't even wear any of this stuff anymore so and I'll get rid of this I don't even know why so there's nothing in here but it's in my closet I see um long overdue band-aids because this little one right here this That's for me when I get it caught yeah but if I leave it where you can reach it then what happens I start getting it for me and for my brother yeah, she will use all of them in like one second. So, um, the first thing that I'm gonna do to get started is I'm gonna pull everything out of this closet and I'm going to separate things because there's clothes that I can get rid of and we'll get started. So, let us, let's get started. And I got these shoes on because I don't like So, my husband's area here. So, this, yeah, he doesn't have a lot of space, but we won't get into that right now. Um, so one of those closet organizers I want to hang right here um, on the wall. And then he'll be able to maybe hang some more stuff here that he has in his actual closet, which I will not open. But um, so, yeah, we're going to hang one of those organizers here and then we're going to hang another one on another door, the door to our room. So. Let us get started. All right, now I am going through and taking everything out of the closet and everything off of these thick and store hangers. Now that I have everything out of my closet, I realized that it is like a minty, like pastel kind of green in there. And I do have white paint, but I am not going to paint it. 
Um, maybe another day, maybe another time, maybe in another year, I don't know. But right now, the inside of the closet, the color of it is not really phasing me right now, and it's a soft color. So, um, there's some cobwebs up top, so I'm gonna clean that out. I'm gonna clean out the bottom, and I'm gonna separate my clothes and get rid of the things that I am not going to keep. If I have not worn it in the last year, it's it, it has to go. So, um, we're gonna do that, and then uh, we're gonna get to getting things in there nice and neat. So, uh, let's get started. Where am I coffee for? I am a coffee holic. I mean, coffee enthusiast, coffee holic. I don't know, maybe I'll go with coffee enthusiast. But uh, cheers and let's get going. Now, I'm sorry about the angle here, but here I am just wiping down the bottom of the closet with a Clorox wipe. Okay, so I am trying on some of my pants. I am sort of in the midst of a weight gain and losing weight. So some clothes I have not worn just because I gained a little weight and I am working out to lose that weight. So I can now pull most of them over my thighs. While I was organizing, my son needed some encouraging words and a hug. He was just feeling overwhelmed with his big brother duties. So off camera, my son did help me bag up all of my clothes and set all my shoes aside, everything that we'll be donating. One thing that I have come to realize during this declutter and organization is that I absolutely love prints. I have a ton of plaid shirts plaid pants and I never realized that until now. So now I'm just going through some of my shoe boxes and getting rid of them. I don't have a lot of tennis shoes. I typically don't wear tennis shoes unless I'm working out or it's just a shoe that I really like that I had to buy. So um, I also got rid of a lot of tennis shoes and um, just trying to make some space. Now I am going to take a trip to Ikea and get some more of those canvas boxes so that I can get rid of those shoe boxes and make everything look more uniform. But this is nonetheless the final product. And I almost forgot about my husband's rack, but I did put together one rack on this particular night and the other rack on the next night. But as you can see, my husband has a lot of stuff hanging over the door and we're going to solve that problem right now. Hey guys, well, that concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed this um, closet kind of declutter and organization video. It is one in the morning and I am tired, but I was determined to finish this <laughs> um, today or now more so tomorrow but you know still I got it done 
um give me a like if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment below and let me know some of the projects that you are still working on i know that things are starting to open back up now and i am excited for that because i have a lot of other projects that i want to work on at home but i was kind of confined to um ordering online not being able to go into certain stores um so a couple of things that i'm working on now on now just um so that you know i'm working on um our bathroom makeover i'm still working on finishing the office and then i'll be moving into my living room space and the kitchen space and then on to my daughter's room and my son's room so uh, a lot a lot a lot in store and i can't wait to share that all with you so um let me know what you're looking forward to let me know what projects you're working on leave those comments down below i'd love to hear what you guys all have going on um if you are you know doing the same thing that i'm doing uh please uh let me know and um, i definitely would love to support you as well so i'm gonna shower and i'm going to bed good night and until our next video